Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. We had a quick question uh, from Gotham, and he was asking, he wanted to create a macro for uh, what, listing off in a list box each of the sheet names in one of the list boxes, and then in the second list box, he'd like to list whatever that sheet's column headers are in, row one, we'll assume. So I'm going to go to Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, and I'm going to click on this Insert User Form button, or you can use the drop down and click on User Form. I'll just click on the symbol, and we're going to go ahead and create our two list boxes really quick, 1Z and 2Z. So these list boxes, we can leave them, we'll call this one LBX Sheets for list box sheets, and this one we will name LBX Rows, or headers, I suppose, doesn't really matter as long as we remember what they are, and let's go ahead and populate them. So whenever this user form opens, we can go ahead and load the sheets, but it's only upon a sheet click that we want to go to that sheet and find what the row headers are. So let's go ahead and worry about the first part, which is when the user form opens, which is called the initialize event. So double click anywhere on the user form. We have the user form selected, but now let's go to the initialize event. And I don't really need the click event. I can delete, uh, hit the delete key. So under the user form initialize code, we're going to go ahead and say whenever the user form starts, we're going to have it. Uh, let's run a loop between all the sheets. So we're going to say for each WS in this workbook dot sheets. So that should loop through all the sheets for us. Next WS just for good measure and I'll hit a tab here we're going to populate our list box so me meaning the user form me dot lbx and we're going to go to the sheets part dot add item we're going to use the add item method because we have to be a little bit more dynamic we can't use a range from a worksheet somewhere we're going to add whatever the ws dot name is so me dot uh, the sheet list box and we're going to add an item each time it loops through each sheet in the workbook. We're going to add the ws.name. Let's just see if that works. And there we have sheet 1 and sheet 2. If I added more and reinitialized, reopened the user form, there would be different ones. If I, if I rename something, for example, I'm going to double click here and say hello instead of sheet 2. And if we reinitialize it, of course, it should do the add item with the word hello instead of sheet 2, and it sure did. So now we need to do something upon the click event of our LBX sheets, the list box here. So actually, let's widen it a little bit too, because I noticed it was kind of having a scroll bar going on there. So we're going to widen it for fun. And uh, what we're going to do is we're, I'm just going to double click on this control because I want to, yeah, it zooms into the click event for the list box for the sheets. So now, whenever you click on the sheets, we need to, first of all, um, I'm just planning ahead here, but we'll probably need to clear this list because it may have the other sheets results. But we'll do that in a second. We'll just see what it looks like. So first off, we need to go to whatever sheet it is. So we need to gleam the name. So whatever the current value of LBX sheets is, we need to grab that really quick. So let's just say my... Uh, sheet name or my sheet equals me dot lbx sheets and dot value let's go ahead and see what that does let's put a breakpoint right here using clicking this um, uh, little gray area you could also I believe hit F9 let's go ahead and hit here when I click on it the click event will trigger and it'll pause at my breakpoint so let's just go to the hello sheet so if I hover over here we see the the sheets dot value is hello so we've trapped that so now we need to stop this let's make some headers I'm just gonna say column oops column one let's drag that across and then we'll do something unique for the other one we'll say header one and we will click and drag that and it should auto increment we'll have 14 headers on this one and a seven on the other all right, cool. So let's open this again. Now we have some headers. Let's do sheet. Let's do the sheet called sheet one since we have that in the background. So we are about to trap 
uh, capture the sheet name right there and we're gonna list we're gonna load those each of those into the other list box so let's do a loop going from uh, the last column which we have to grab it looks like dynamically and then we'll loop from one to last column number on whatever sheet number it says so we can take the word uh, the variable my sheet and we can use that so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna say um, for x equals one to oh I was wrong we need to get the last uh, column so last call equals this workbook dot sheets and when I do my open parentheses normally I would put something in quotes like hello but that's if you want to hard code it since we have a variable my sheet we don't put quotes because we want it to know that this is a variable and it contains a variable. So we're going to close that up, and we're going to now we're going to proceed dot cells, and we're going to do uh, we're going to do row one. If you've seen my video on getting the last row or the last column, you'll need that. We're going to use row one. We're going to do columns dot count, and we're going to use the dot end going x l to left dot column that's a lot of stuff there but you really need to memorize how to use the last column or the last row because it's invaluable so we're gonna take the sheet called sheet one in this case because that's what we clicked on that's what we trapped here and we're going to get the very last column so it's column 14 indeed it is now we can loop through there so for x equals column one to last call which is going to be dynamic that might change next x so now we'll loop through each of these and every time we get to a new column it's really easy we're going to say uh, that whatever sheet name that is um, and we're going to use the cells using always row one but the column will be x because x is changing it's going one and then it's going two and then it's going three so this workbook dot sheets and again we're going to use our dynamic sheet variable so it always knows whether you're on hello sheet or sheet one or whatever new sheets you might make up and we're going to use the cells object but we're going to use always row one which is the header and we're going to use column x which is changing so that's the value that we need to add but let's scooch that over here for a second because ultimately we're not really we're, we're not affecting that we're using that to get our column so we're gonna do me dot lbx headers this is the headers list box we haven't touched yet and we're gonna use the dot add item for that as well and if I click away it should auto space everything so it's going to add to our headers every time it goes from 1 to in this case 14 so let's see what that looks like I'm gonna scooch my starting point back to over here so x is going to be 1 to 14 so we're going to use the sheet 1 and we're going to add the sheet 1 dot cells 1 comma 1 so uh, row 1 column 1 we just added header 1 now x is 2 in our loop so it would be row 1 column 2 or column b so now we're going to have to assume that that is going to go all the way to 14 like we said and there you go header 1 through 14 now if I click here here's the gotcha if I click on hello it's going to run the click event again and it will load even more results to the bottom column 1 through column 7 for the hello sheet and if I click back here you guessed it it added 14 more results so we have to clear the other list box out really quick so let's expand that because it's a little too short uh, excuse me too narrow um, all we have to do in our code go back to the sheets dot click event and every time this runs at the very beginning we just need to clear out the other list box before we get started me dot lbx headers dot clear or dot cl tab is what I did so that should do it click on sheet one click on hello you notice it cleared out and reran 
So that's how you do that. All right, thanks for watching, and God bless. Have a great day.